I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. And that's why you'll never be what you want to be. That's why you'll never have what you want to have. That's why you'll never accomplish what you're all over the place. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You see your shadow most often. You got trust in the heart of hearts. Inside what you're doing, what you believe in, is a worthy cause to win a fight. I wish I could tell you you're tired, go take a break. I wish I could tell you tired, rest for a year. I wish I could tell you that, that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The, the, weight, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Done. And it's between you and you. There ain't nobody else in your way. See, I've heard it all. From I'm too small, to I'm not fast enough, to I'm not strong enough, to I can't make it back. This is what it takes. This is the sacrifice made for a greater good. It's called dedication. To the small things. To the little details. You aim small. You miss small, because it's the small steps that ultimately climb mountains. So why would you skip that workout? Why would you give up on that last rep? Why would you cheat on that meal? Why wouldn't you give it your absolute all? That's called effort. And time, it stops for no one. You've got one shot at this thing called life. So it's up to you to make it happen. You got a choice where you spend every minute of your day. No one decides that but you. Why do we fall? You do not fear death. You think this makes you strong. It makes you weak. Why? How can you move faster than possible? Fight longer than possible? will have the most powerful impulse of the spirit. The fear of death. I do fear death. I fear dying in here. Then make the climb. <laughs> As the child is. the rope. Then fear will find you again. If you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an idea, and if they can't stop you, then you become something else entirely. Who's that me? Rise. You've done what you've been
been born to do, what you've been called to do, what you've been birthed to do. Nobody can't do it like you. Nobody can sing the way you sing. Nobody can speak the way you speak. Nobody can write the way you write. You accept yourself as you see yourself beyond your fears. And you don't accept yourself as a victim you begin to see that you are more important than any fear that you have and that you're more powerful than any fear that you have. What most people do is they make their fear more powerful than they are. They make their fear more powerful than their dreams are. That's what you don't want to do. Don't make your fear more powerful than your dreams or your passion. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary to work on myself. Become creative. It's me. I've got to make it happen. It's not over until I win. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breathe breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? Success is formulated through failures. Through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back in its confidence. Behind every fear is a person you want to be. When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not digging it. Freedom. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you would never push yourself. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain, no gain. Success does not define us. We define the success. Deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Don't think. I must see my mind's eye, see myself, confronting my feet, handling my feet. I'm more than able. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change.